February 6, 2023. You guessed it. Hit that subscribe button. Of course, some of y'all already heard today. We got prepping channels beefing again over a DEF CON 2 level that was a post made yesterday evening. I'll name the two channels. It's Pinball Preparedness or Pinball Prepping, whatever he's going by this week. And you got Survival Living. I also made a community post with a link to this site, this website about what DEF CON level we're at. And I also posted I don't put much faith in it. With that said, you know, I've always told you people that has insider information, you know, kind of take it with a grain of salt because I don't see anybody that's going to risk what they're doing to, to give a YouTuber some information. But with that said, this man has used his, his source before. He says he used it, you know, before the Russian invasion about the blood, and it seems to be kind of a legitimate source that he's using. You also got Goshen Prepping, who is backing up Survival Living. But you got Pinball out here telling them, if this guy's telling you this, he, he's full of it, he's just trying to get views, he's clickbaiting and this and that. You know, it's funny how these prepping channels are all supposed to be in this together. But yet, when it comes down to something, they fight all the time. We've seen it. You know, we, we've, we've had the Doug and Stacy's and the Appalachian Homesteads fighting over crap. Guys, a lot of the stuff is for views. I'm just going to tell you, a lot, a lot of YouTubers post stuff for views. But when it comes down to the DEF CON 2 level, I'm, I made a community post, and I told you exactly in community post, I personally don't put much faith in this, you know. It's coming from a civilian source. But yesterday we had helicopters flying over in South Carolina. Southern Pepper 1 posted a video of it, of them flying low. We got all kinds of stuff going on. It looks like if we was going to go to DEF CON 2, we would have went when the balloon was over the United States. Now, I'm not saying we're not. You know, I'm not sitting here judging on either one of them, but it's kind of funny to me how one of them will say, don't listen to this one, don't listen to that one, but they also all watch the big one. You know, Canadian Prepper, he's on here all the time telling us that World War III is going to start the next day and nukes are going to be falling from the sky. Guys, right now, we're, we've got so much chaos going on in the world that at any moment something could happen, but I'm telling you, the government would not warn us before something major happening because of the panic and chaos it's making. Now, I'm not calling out any of these channels. I'm just putting it out straight to you. You get a channel like me. Here, here's a perfect example. I come on the day they shot the balloon down with them, you know, before anybody else knew they was fixing to shoot it down. I posted a short, and guess what? It got 35 views or 40 views, right? That's all it got because my channel doesn't get views like the other ones. The bigger channels, they get views. A lot of these channels, most of them on here, have a store or something they're trying to sell you or something. They're, they're trying to make money off of you. Guys, YouTube is a huge game. That's all it is. People ask me, well, how do you make money at this? You honestly got to throw something at the wall and hope it sticks and a lot of people watch it. Like some of y'all know here lately on my videos, I've been posting shorts of my dog. Well, those videos get 1,500, 2,000 views and I'll get 10 subscribers. Well, out of that 10 subscribers in two to three days, I'll have maybe two or three that sticks around. You know, that's how I'm growing my channel. It's slow and it's tedious. But to get back on point about this DEF CON 2 level, you know, who's to say we're not at DEF CON 2? Civilians don't really know where we're at on that level. The, the website, you know, it kind of just takes in all the intelligence it can around the world and best predicts where we're at on it. You know, but to have a, a YouTube channel call out another YouTube channel and tell them that you need to quit listening to them, you need to quit watching them, and all this is just absolutely ridiculous. It's a free country, guys. If you want to watch Survival Living, watch them. I watch his videos. I watch Pinball's videos. I watch Canadian Prepper's videos. Canadian Prepper, now, I watch him for entertainment value, plain and simple, because, you know, he's always screaming the world's going to end the next day or something major's going to happen. But when it comes down to this insider information and stuff, you know, we all got buddies that do something somewhere or somewhere like that that might give you a heads up on it or something. But when it comes down to it, we don't, the people that's in the know, you know, that knows about the DEF CON levels, I don't see them risking their job to, to let it get out, which, you know, it could happen. With that said, Survival Living has every right to post what he wants on his, on his videos. Every right. You know, if you're going to call him out, he's not a huge channel either. He's not, you know. He's, he's a medium-sized channel, and he does good videos. He goes out here, and he shows you how to actually do stuff, how to survive in the woods, how to do, do all kinds of things. And you got Pinball that sits there and shows you, you know, how to spend money and do stuff. 
and that that's how it is you know but the, this beef in between channels is a perfect example of what's going to happen when the world goes to crap inside of a mag you know a group your, your group you're going to have these kind of fusses and fights inside of a group it's just the way it is always people will tell you it's going to be run like this and that. no it's not you're going to have these same issues in your group eventually when the world does go to crap but guys you know me, I tell you, watch what you want, take everything with a grain of salt, anything I say, I try to put a, a link to an article in it or something where you can go read what I'm saying, you know, because believe it or not, a lot of people get their news solely from YouTube videos. That's, that's what they watch. They don't watch mainstream media or nothing. But when it comes down to the end of the day, you know, Survival Living got his thing he does, Pinball has his thing he does, Canadian Preppers got his thing he does, you know, at the end of the day, it's a hustle, man. It's all a hustle to make money. But I will say that Survival Living actually puts videos out that shows you how to do stuff. Physically shows you, you know. It's just the way it is. You got Goshen Prepping. He's a pretty good channel, you know. But a channel like mine, this video here might get 60 views, maybe. I mean, it'll, it'll be at the bottom of the rotation. It's the way this works. You know, the higher up in analytics you go, the more your videos get seen and the more people see it. And also, when one channel calls out another channel like they did today, that's going to make everybody's views go up. Because why? Everybody wants to watch a fight and an argument. It's just the way we are in America. Like I said, I released a short, you know, with within b before it even got announced on TV what was going on, and I released a short, and it didn't get viewed. So that... YouTube is a huge game, huge huge rackets, all it is. I'm also on Rumble. If y'all want to go watch Rumble, I'm over there. But I'm going to tell you the reason these big channels aren't on Rumble. It's because, like, on YouTube, they'll get 10, 20, 30,000 views a video. Well, Rumble, they might get 200. That's why they're not jumping to Rumble. That's why they want to stay on YouTube. It's their money. That's how they make their money. But at the end of the day, you guys watch who you want to watch. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt, you know. Do some research yourself on stuff, you know, and this should prove to you right now that even inside of a prepper group, this is going to happen. Now, these guys ain't buddy buddies or nothing like that that I know of, but, you know, like I said, watch them all. Make your own mind up, you know. I'm not on here telling you what to do. I'm just giving you advice for what I do. You know, I watch them all, and sometimes I laugh. Canadian prepper, I, I watch him just for entertainment value because I want to see when the world's going to end, you know, and by now we should be in. 360 days past the world ending <laughs> but guys stay safe out there if you're still watching hit that subscribe button you know hit it i don't get paid for these videos i don't stay safe get prepped up keep your head on the swivel be aware of your surroundings at all times protect yourself and your family at all times you're not safe anywhere in the world anymore and guys i don't know if we're at defcon 2 or not but what should it be if, if we knew for sure get out there and get prepped up you know start checking your preps get ready like we tell you something eventually is going to happen Guys, stay safe, get prepped up.